kind of a classic Scottish view, this, apart from uh, me, not me with a midge net on, kind of this view. We're in Strathcarran, um, and apparently Boris Johnson's been on holiday here. Um, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more about that. Um, but it's one of those, kind of, it's almost as if this is done for tourists. Uh, you know, the building with a red roof, white building, red roof, fantastic scene, uh, looking across the lock. Uh, the sun is occasionally dappling through. Um, but I was just driving past, so this, this road kind of loops round through to Applecross. I was just driving past, saw this and thought, better stop and, and try and get an image uh, or two. And uh, the sun has been kind of kind of on the mountains a little bit, but it's now gone behind a bit of clouds. So uh, I'm going to see kind of what I can come up with. Um, I think I might have got a couple of shots um, with the sun just um, just on the kind of the mountains in the distance, but I'm not 100% certain. So going to have to uh, uh, kind of work on that one, see, see what comes. But there's a couple of spots over there. But actually, the cloud is quite nice. Uh, it's quite nice scene. Um, kind of sorry shapes in the in the cloud. Uh, there's some big clouds just kind of spinning off the top of the mountain. So just talk you through the the the, the it's a it's a really simple um, uh, uh, composition. So got the the house down here uh, just on on rule of thirds. There's a couple of trees over here that help balance the the image quite nicely. Sorry, the midges have started to get to me. I'm gonna have to kind of put my midge net on in a in a second. Um, but uh, I've got the kind of the the the, the, the house in, in the view, and then then these trees put in a nice bit of balance. There's also this bit of wall coming through nicely from the bottom left-hand corner, so hopefully that helps. I'm going to focus on the on the house. Um, I've got a a, a a filter dropped in. Um, I actually had the filter in because the the sky was a bit brighter when the sun was shining through. So I'm going to take a couple with this filter in, but then I might take it out and. Um, Let's see how that goes because actually the the scene has gone a bit uh, the light is is not as harsh so just take a oh, I'm, I'm I, I bracketing uh, as well just in case um, I'm going to take the filter out and see um, what difference that makes um, because the, the cloud isn't that bright anymore so just on the way back home took a few images of the the building with the red roof and there's a little bit of colour in the sky but I just spotted this uh, little lock don't know what it's called might not even have a name uh, but it's really calm just looking across to the mountains uh, and I thought it was decent enough to just to get a quick couple of shots the sun is down there's a little bit of salmony colour in the sky so I'm hoping that that the, the camera picks that up um, so I'm, I'm looking across I think I might move over there um, because the reeds there look a bit better. Some of the reeds here are a bit short and I, I quite like the idea of having the reeds in the foreground so I'm going to move over there and I'll come back to you. So I've moved just a little bit, um, 10 feet, 20 feet, something like that. Um, and it's going dark quite quickly. The midges are, are out in full force. Uh, um, so I'm, I'm going to put the head net down in a second but I just wanted to show you kind of the composition I'm working on so bear with me a second. I'll get rid of that uh, off the screen. And I'm just looking across using um, kind of the, the reflection. But I've got these lovely reeds. I, 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 I love these reeds coming up here. Uh, I like that. So I'm just shooting across. In fact, I might lower my tripod down a little bit. Um, and uh, I'm going to do some um, focus stacking because I want the reeds uh, in the foreground in focus. But I want the distance in focus as well. So... Um, just going to do some focus stacking to get to get the reason. Sorry, I got distracted. There's a fish just jumped there, uh, so a fish just jumped uh, and caught my attention. Um, so I'm just going to focus stack. I'm going to take a photograph uh, with the uh, kind of reeds in focus, and then kind of one with the kind of the, the mid ground. There's there's a bunch of reeds in the, kind of the middle of the lock, and then one in the distance. Um, but I'm getting a bit. I'm just going to take a reading off the sky as well. I'm going to expose about there, but I'm going to focus about there. <laughs> that makes sense. Let's have a look. I'm going to expose to the right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to focus about there. Let's expose that to the right. So that's all right there. Hope you're seeing this. I'm just exposing to the right, and then I'm going to 
focus on the mountain in the distance. Exposed to the right. Uh, and hopefully that all works out well with the, 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 the kind of the focus running through. I'm going to put this down because the midges are starting to kind of really annoy me. So I'm going to work on that a bit. And uh, as I say, I might uh, just lower my tripod down a bit, a little bit, to get these kind of reeds focusing a little more, bit more. But there's a nice bit of kind of gap in the clouds there, that's, which leads down onto the top of the mountain. So I'm going to going to work on that. I saw someone doing a um, oh midges. I saw someone doing a um, kind of 60 second midge challenge where they kind of took their head net off and kind of just didn't scratch or anything for 60 seconds I'm not rather than me <laughs> this, it's just that even even with the, the the net on kind of they're irritating so I just got to sort out it's not covering the back of my neck so I can feel them on the back of my neck I love I love Scotland I love kind of this part of Scotland as I say this is Strathcarran so we're up on the west coast I love Scotland absolutely love it but I, I kind of hate the midges um, so I'm just doing a quick panorama so I've I've um, turned the camera kind of upright to, to do my panorama uh, I'll add one of those moments where I, I was about to say oh, that's the benefit of having an L bracket that you can switch that uh, and as I was putting it on I thought oh, that's tight enough let go and the camera fell off and like at my feet is the edge of the lock and fortunately it, it kind of landed kind of on a dry bit and I, uh, as it fell I was thinking ah <laughs> but Fortunately, did okay. So, just going to, going to do a quick panorama, starting uh, over there where there's the bump, running through to that bump. Um, so, I'm sure there's people around who can tell me kind of what the actual names of those bumps are. Um, but I can probably tell you if I looked at the map, but bump one and bump two will do for now. So, there's my first. There's my second. You might be able to hear that I'm I'm bracketing. Uh, and there's I'll, you know, actually I'll do I'll do four. I just heard a did I just hear a, a stag calling or was it a sheep? And then last one. So might have been a stag. I can't I can't I can't see at all wearing this. Um, so. It could be just on the hillside there, but I can't see. I can't see. And I'm just going to show you what happened with the um, with the L bracket. So I thought, so I put it on. I thought it was it was tight, and it just fell forward like that. But it, fortunately, as I say, it landed there. So um, that's one of the challenges always of of changing. Let me just tight, make sure that's tight. <laughs> One of the challenges of, of changing um, the position of your camera on the tripod uh, is that you know you got to double, 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 double check, and I didn't double, double check, but kind of wasn't terrible. So, going to take a few more shots here, and then that will probably be it. Unless I might look if there's somewhere on the way back where I can see a nice bit of road going down uh, the valley, um, I might stop and see if I can set something up with uh, a long shutter speed with a car coming if I can get a car coming off a valley nice road I'll, I'll, I'll see what I can do but if I don't that's the end if I do I'll see you again in a minute but uh, if I don't see you again in a minute thanks for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, don't forget the thumbs up and all that sort of malarkey and uh, I'll see you again soon bye